Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about something that's really been on my heart lately and I hope this video is encouraging to you um, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So when I look back on my life and think of times when I felt screwed over or you know that it was evident that someone didn't believe in me, they were rude to me, they were mean to me, whatever, um, there's one specific piece of advice that comes to mind that people always gave me and it's this idea of you know make something of yourself and prove them wrong. I'm sure you've heard similar advice at some point. Um, you know, there's these quotes, proving them wrong is the best revenge, or when they say you can't, then you have to, or the greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you cannot do. You know, there's a ton more quotes and ideas like this, but you kind of get where I'm going with it. To be sure, there is an element of truth to this idea. You know, there's something special about a big upset in sports or, you know, any kind of competition. Uh, there's just something that feels good about accomplishing something when no one felt like you could, you know, especially when you're with a team or a group of people, um, you know, and some people are blessed enough to play sports for, for a living, um, but I kind of want to talk more about our day-to-day -day lives and how we think about pursuing our dreams and reaching our goals on an individual level. Just say you did it. You worked hard, you got to your dreams, you proved them wrong, but you know, is that really the accomplishment, proving them wrong? Most of the time, you know, these quotes about proving people wrong come with a very heavy dose of, you know, forget the haters and just do you. So are you trying to forget about their opinion and just do you, or are you trying to prove them wrong? It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. So, you know, if you value someone's opinion who doesn't believe in you, that can definitely be a hard thing, especially if that is, you know, a loved one, you know, a good friend, someone that means a lot to you and you want them to believe in you and they just don't. That can be extremely hard to deal with, and that's a whole other thing. I'm not even going to get into that. Another issue is if you're trying to prove you were better than them or, you know, simply be right, I want to remind you that love doesn't boast and love isn't prideful. We are told to do everything as if we were working unto the Lord, and, you know, desiring a high position for ourselves definitely isn't doing that. And, you know, it's not healthy, um, nor is it biblical at all. And here's an example of just a way, um, you know, that revenge can be very unhealthy just in, um, you know, a very practical term, I guess. So playoffs are going on right now. LeBron James, you know, the best player in the NBA, arguably. And there's been conversations going on and he is talking about how he's the most, you know, he's a really easy target for people to kind of hate on him um, and all that stuff. And if you've been uh, watching the finals, you kind of know what's going on with that. And if not... Um, just know that he kind of thinks of himself as an easy target. You know, he would definitely consider himself someone who has a lot of people that doubt him and things like that. And if he played every basketball game just trying to prove them wrong, and at the end of the day, all he cared about was proving them wrong, very quickly he would become frustrated with the sport of basketball. It wouldn't be fun anymore. It would be about proving this person wrong, proving that media person wrong, whatever. Then he's not playing basketball to play basketball. He's playing it to prove other people wrong, and at the end of the day, that is not going to be fulfilling. Oftentimes, this desire to prove people wrong comes from a perfectly normal and good desire of, you know, just wanting people to believe in you and wanting people to love you and cherish you, but unfortunately, you know, people have insecurities, and so when someone doesn't believe in you, that could partially be because of their own insecurity, and, you know, we need to stop the cycle of insecurity and not keep passing that along. So I just want to encourage you, you know, to work for the sake of your dreams, your God-given desires, and work for the glory of God and know that you don't have to prove anything to anyone. You're more loved by God than you can comprehend, and that's enough. 